hello guys welcome back to sports corner g8 once more today is saturday it's very wet everywhere please make sure to be very careful so guys in today's video we are going to talk about the preseason game ajax versus andernet ajax versus andernet Mohamed kudus versus majid ashimu we are going to look at their performance in today's video also we have news concerning the transfer of kamal din sulimana also, Fatari Shahaku has spoken about a lot of things on social media. We are going to talk about it. And Emmanuel Yeboah, 99 ideas. He scored a goal in the Romanian club. So far, this is his first goal. We are going to talk about it into details. And also, um, what Ateta said about Thomas Partey. So, this video is a bit packed. So, guys, if you have not subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed too, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate the support I'm getting from you viewers. So, guys, quickly... Let's jump straight into it and I'm going to begin with Kamal Din Suleimana. So, early this morning, it was reported by Fabrizio Romano that Kamal Din Suleimana is attracting interest from OG, C, Nins and also um, Leo. And what they are doing is that they are asking Saddam Tim for the conditions that they would take to sign uh, Kamal Din Suleimana either alone or on permanent basis. I already brought you in some previous video that there are teams interested in Kamal Din Suleimana, but the possibility of him living on loan is very high because he just signed with Southampton. Also, the fact that, I mean, he is also willing to, you know, play for Southampton in the championship. But then, there are two teams that have already come in place to, to, to sign um, Mohamed Kudus. And I'm sure in the coming days, we are going to hear a uh, final, you know, contract and agreements between one of these two teams and Kamal Din Suleimana. From what I hear, um, we are going to hear some good news coming this week so you know i'll make sure to bring you all those necessary details once you are long being here i'll make sure to bring you whatever happens with kamal din suleimana's transfer now moving away from kamal din suleimana let's talk about thomas party yesterday i talked about thomas party earlier this morning i also talked about thomas party at eta i mean as now far as i'm not too sure of thomas party's things well Teta has played the air in an interview he was asked if thomas party was part of his plans and this is what he said exactly Part of my plans, of course, without a doubt, Thomas Partey is a super important player for us and also for me. This was his response to the question of whether Thomas Partey is going to leave the club or not. He says Thomas Partey is going nowhere. So Saudi Arabia, the offers that you are doing, you are making, it is it's not going to work. Thomas Partey is staying at Arsenal for one more season and we are going to witness how great Thomas Partey is and he's going to put his doubters in shape. So guys, that is the latest coming from the camp of Thomas Partey. Moving away from Thomas Partey, let's talk about Emmanuel Yeboa, 99 ideas. He represents Ghana and the under 23 African Cup of Nations, scoring three goals and one assist. In fact, I brought you a video that during the whole season, he has not scored a goal for his club side, CFL Cluj. That is the reason why when he came into the Black Meteors, he was the second choice striker. The good news we are hearing is that Emmanuel Yebo has scored his first goal of the season for CF Outlook. And looking at the fact that he's attracting interest for Ophiam and also attracting interest for Montreal Impact, I think this is a very good goal for Emmanuel Yebo. I will make sure to follow up on his transfer and bring you all necessary details you need to know about Emmanuel Yebo. Also, lastly, before we jump into the Ajax Underlet game, Fata Ishahaku. There has been a, a lot of rumors around Fata Ishahaku, whether he's going to start spotting or leave. I told you there's a club that is interested in taking Fata Ishahaku on loan, Kasapia AC. Now, Fata Ishahaku has responded to a lot of rumors, and this is what he said on the internet. He says that people have been talking about what they don't know. I'm happy here. He said he's happy where he is. I don't know what, you know, uh, this thing that can, we can build from this, you know, this caption on social media. I don't know what, whether he's talking about sporting or not, but this is what Fata Ishahaku is, talk, is talking about. And I'm, I'm sure it has to do with something about his transfer. So I'm just bringing you this. Let me know your thoughts on what Fata Ishahaku just said. So guys, that is all about the news uh, items we have for you today. Come out is the one attracting interest from OG Sinners and Leo. Thomas Pate. Ateta has confirmed that Thomas Partey is going to stay at Arsenal. Emmanuel Yabas scores his first goal of the season. Fatah Ishahaku says that he's staying right here. So guys, quickly, let's jump and look at the Ajax versus Anderlecht game. Mohamed Kudus versus Majid Ashimiru. 
Mohamed Kudus versus Majid Ashimeru. So quickly, I'm going to go into their performance in that game. In that game, in the first half, Anderlecht was leading by one goal to zero. And in that match, um, Ashimeru played 61 minutes. In that 61 minutes, he had 31 touches, completed an accurate pass of 27, accumulating to 96%. And also, one plus one was two out of four. He had a total so far score rating of 6.6. Also, Mohamed Kudus played all the full 90 minutes. In that full 90 minutes, he had 53 touches. He also completed an accurate part of 30. That's 100%. Um, long ball accuracy was 3 out of 3. And grab was 1 was 3 out of 9. So, um, out, out of the game, I don't even care about the scoreline. What, I mean, uh, what I'm interested in is that we are seeing two Ghanaian players who are very good at what they do playing in, in the preseason game. And I'm very happy about what is going on. I mean, regardless of the result of the match, what I'm happy about is that Anderlecht versus um, Ajax has two Ghanaian players, Majid Ashmiru and also Mohamed Kudus. We got to experience or we got to see these two players play on the same pitch at opposite sides. And it was very nice to see what these two players can do. There was a point, you know, Kudus had chances. He spots all those chances. But regardless, Kudus is also still in the transfer market. We'll make sure to bring you every necessary information you need to know about that. So, guys, that is the latest we have for you on Ghanaian and uh, Black Star players. Let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notification. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. Guys, enjoy your weekend. Pa.